All right, today I was just going to cover a bunch of things that I've gotten in the mail in the last couple of weeks. Uh, just going to share that with you quickly here. The first one here is a little TPU mount from Brain 3D to hold the uh, Insta360 Go camera. Slides right in there. It's a nice uh, solid mount, not, not any real... Uh, flexibility there to be worried about for jello uh, they sent it along with some sweet tarts and they give some free uh, xt60 covers so check them out this was only nine dollars plus about four dollars shipping here i show it mounted on my um, homemade wren two and a half inch little cine whoop uh, you can buy it in multiple colors and in multiple angles, and you can even buy it with a vertical orientation. Check them out. Next is a little run cam keyboard that you do uh, use to modify uh, some of the settings on some of the run cam FPV cameras. And I have a couple of run cam Phoenix cameras on a couple of my drones, so I needed one of these. These are only $2.99 at get fpv so i've been flying with this um, exposed pagoda uh, antenna on my cloud 149 and uh, sometimes when if it lands hard it flips over these dishes get a little bit bent i got a little concerned about the long term of that so they had these true rc canada uh, antennas right hand polarized at Gip RC kind of marked down. I think it paid uh, nine dollars for that so we'll be trying that out. All right the next thing I got was a voltmeter battery checker. This is from Transec Hobby. Uh, bought it off of the Get FPV site. It was about uh, seventeen dollars. It's an all metal case LCD screen 2S to 6S you just plug in your uh, battery there and it kind of tells you, see if we can get it on the screen here, what each, the cell, the status of each of the cells are currently. So that's pretty helpful. Instead of plugging it into your battery checker, battery charger, and use the checker there. So love having this thing. <clears throat> I have a little bit, few black lines on some of my quads, so I bought some uh, 1000 microfarad and a 330 low ESR capacitors. These are from Race Day Quads. Pretty good source. Check them out. So my Reptile Cloud, I want to do some experiments with a variety of different uh, propellers. Uh, so I got some GemFam 3052s, uh, some 3140s, some uh, these are three by four by threes. These are some of the iFlight uh, 3040s. Nice color. And then I was going to take the, pro the the ducks off and test some of these bi blade uh, three and a halfs on there and see if I get a difference in sound primarily. So that's going to be kind of fun testing that stuff out. It's probably the most exciting thing I got this week as I bought one of these Larva X uh, toothpicks from, uh, I got this set up from HDQ. And it was only $97 with your ch choice of receivers. So I got the XM Plus on there. It's all ready to go. The uh, thing I was planning to do, since I like these little Cinewhoops flying low, slow, and into tight spaces, is this is the uh, the iFlight 111R frame, which I got from uh, this one I got from Get FPV. They're only like $22 for the frame and the ducks. And my plan is to put these ducks on this frame. Uh, just like I've done with my my Wren that I showed earlier, which is this platform here, which is a little bit heavier uh, with everything on it. 
So I'm going to try it with the Happy Model setup. I think I'll save a little bit of weight that way. And it's supposed to be just a phenomenal little model. So kind of looking forward to putting those on there and getting that going. So, and then probably uh, the one thing that <clears throat> I won't show today because I just ordered it is uh, I'll show you a photo of it here. It's, I'm getting into the 3D printing. So I did a lot of research uh, different types and I decided to order the Prusa Mini which is $349 unfortunately you know it's a new product came out last fall they have a big backlog and uh, I won't get mine till September but that's all right I don't really need that many printed parts right now but it's gonna be fun learning about doing 3d CAD design for printing for my FPV drones so that's all I got for today Comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.